Hello and welcome back to the channel. Firstly, Happy New Year. We hope you had an awesome Christmas and the last year's fishing has been awesome. But well, hopefully, this year would be even better. Fingers crossed. But well, looking at the stats from last year, we have to say a massive thank you. Because last year we had the most subscribers we've ever had since the channel's been going and the most views yep. at 730,000. So that's impressive. So thank you again. But well, on that note, if you love this sort of content, please subscribe because it does help us. Share us with your pals. Give a thumbs up and all that jazz. And yeah, it really does help us. But well, moving on to this video, we are down on our club water. You join us on our first uh, dead bite session of the year. I'll go through the rigs we're using and the bait later on in this video. Hopefully, we get a nice juicy crop today. How'd you not see me here? Get the camera. Hello, make sure you subscribe. Goodbye. So I've just reeled in my right hand rod and I don't know if something's had the bait or it's just come off. So I've had to put a fresh bait on. So I thought now would be a perfect opportunity to show you how I'm fishing. Now, where we're fishing, it is quite deep and I would like to use a float, but it's up about a foot, maybe two foot. So the easiest option is the ledger rig. Now all I've got is a running two ounce pair lead then i've got like a little buffer bead which covers the swivel keeps everything nice and tidy mass onto a trice two trebles and a mackerel and my left hand rod is also exactly the same just a different bait i'm going to get this one back out and then russ is going to run you through what he's using let's go right then so i'll talk you through mine hoping you can see I yeah. can see it, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's the same ledger rig, just a slightly different setup. So, one in lad. I think these are called Catfish Pro rubber beads. Just slide on the nice and easy. Prevents it from coming back. Then up onto Trace. My choice of poison. About the biggest mackerel in Morrison's own fighting corners. Uh, two travels, one in the tail and one in the stick. Sweet, hopefully that'll catch me something. There's really not that much to update you on, other than Russell has had a couple beeps on his right hand rod, but it hasn't turned into a run or anything like that. So we're going to stay active, we're going to bring these rods in, move halfway down this bank to a fresh bit of water, get the bait out, and hopefully they'll be held up in this area. Now I believe the water we're going to fish now is shallower, so we'll be able to put the floats on for better indication and hopefully we could get one or two pike for you guys from the first vlog of 2024. Yep, let's fast forward to a peg. Although we 
was relaxing, the lack of action was bringing us to a realisation that we could be facing a blank. With just a few hours left of our session, we said goodbye to our new pals and headed towards the flooded beach bags. Fighting against the wind, we got all the rods out in likely looking areas for one last shot of snaring a monster. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be this session and ended with a blank, but that won't stop us from carrying on our goal of catching a monster that we know lurk in this lake. Thank you for watching, if you like this sort of content why not subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and share us with your pals and make sure you hit that notification icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos and again, thanks for watching.